Hey guys, it's Liz and Kayla. Say hi, Kayla. Hi. And uh, today we are here to share with you our latest project for Discount Paper Crafts. And this time we decided to create something for Father's Day, right? Mm-hmm. Did you have fun? Yeah. It was fun, huh? Well, we decided to alter a clock, the, you know, Tim Holtz assemblage clock, and of course make a little card for, you know, Father's Day. And everything, pretty much everything that I've used on the clock, you guys can find over at Kathy's shop. Um, she has, you know, stocked up on the Tim Holtz clock, so there's quite a few still available, so you better rush before they sell out. And then there's also a lot of the little trinkets, you know, the metal flowers. A lot of the Prima goodies are in stock right now as well. So definitely go check it out. I'm going to put the links below so you guys can go take a look. All right? But, um, you want to start off with the card? Sure. Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> So this is the card we need. Let me see, get closer. So you're not in, okay, there we go, because you're not in frame. Oh. Okay, go ahead, honey. So this is the card we need, and we we use it, our Big Shot and emboss this piece of paper, and it says, always in my heart. And we put it on a black piece of paper and add and also emboss that, but we ink this one, the one that says, always in my heart. And then on the black one, we put these little per silver pearls, and my mom came up with that idea. <laughs> and we also added this little clock, and we put paper behind it, and then we put hands in a bread, that, and you can move them around. Mm -hmm, that's cute, huh? Mm -hmm. And with this one, we added a bow, and we used uh, one of the metal flowers from the stuff that Kathy gave to us and we all we put one of my one of the roses we had from my mom's LA stash and we put three here because my dad has three kids mm -hmm. me my sister and my brother and we added this well it's like a copper raise it up a little bit baby sort of there you go good job right there and then we added this little gear right here First we added a light coat of gesso, and then we just let that dry, and then we painted it with some metallic... Um, oh, you forgot the snow text. Oh, right. We all, well, because you see the texture? Remember that little texture that we got? Mm-hmm. So first you added gesso, right? Mm -hmm. And then the snow text. The gesso. Mm-hmm. That's our gesso. And here's the snow text that we use. Mm-hmm. And then what did you do after that? After that, once it all dried, we added some folk art metallic acrylic paint mm -hmm. to it to give it a nice metal look. And then, after that, we added some, we got our ink pad and just inked it with our little sponge our Tim, from our Tim Holtz collection. And, and yeah, it's to give it a rusty look. And we also added a bunch of like screws and bolts because my dad is in construction. Mm -hmm. Lift it up a little bit, baby. There you go. Very cute. Well, the, um, Kayla forgot the beginning part, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, we started off with, you know, just black card stock. The size of the card is four and a half inches wide by six inches in height. And of course, the paper we used, I don't think she mentioned that, but it is an oldie but goodie by Prima. It's the Printery Collection. And we thought that would be perfect for Father's Day because it is, a, you know, it's a little bit more of a masculine uh, paper collection. So it was perfect for our card. And all we did is we layered, you know, pieces of the patterned paper, pieces of cardstock, and patterned paper over that. All of the edges of the paper are lightly distressed with our distress tool and inked with the black soot. And Kayla did all the inking, and I really like the way that she did some of this because it makes it look more grungy. You want to show? Mm -hmm. Very good. Here. Yeah, she made it look very grungy. Lift it up a little bit, baby. It was actually kind of an accident. It was an accident, but it worked out, right? Mm -hmm. It looks great. And um, over here is just a fussy cut image. It's one of the little clocks that we just tucked in behind the um, the message. And uh, let's see. We added, um, we put it in our folder. Right, it's, it's embossed, and so is this piece of paper here. It's embossed using one of the Tim Holtz embossing folders. Do you want to show the inside what it looks like? Mm hmm On the inside, we added this little paper that looks like tile, and again, we inked it, and 
there's more that makes it look more Lift gringy. It up. There we go. And we did a little higher. We also added this piece of tape measure. Well, measuring tape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, we c just cut it and added it there since he's in construction. And we also got these um, from the Tim Holtz collection and we put it in our big shop and we got these gears. Mm -hmm. Very cute, right? And you're going to write your message here for Daddy? Yep. All right. Awesome job. All right. So that's our card. I think he's going to love it. It looks great, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. And we also added the same string and the little ribbon, ribbon from the bow mm -hmm. right here. All right, now let me show you our clock. And we had so much fun mm -hmm. altering this clock, right? It was it a lot a of fun. Time. It took a long time. It did. <laughs> but we didn't work on it, you know, all day. We just had other things to do. But we worked on it. We had a blast working on it together. And we knew it was going to be something very special for Father's Day. We kept hiding it from Daddy, huh? Because he, yeah. he comes home unexpectedly and we've got to rush and hide our stuff. <laughs> But anyways, guys, this is just an assemblage clock by Tim Holtz, and what we first did to it, we prepped the entire thing with gesso, just a very light coat. You know, don't worry about it. They know what gesso is, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you anyway, sweetheart. <laughs> so we prepped with the gesso, and then what we did is, again, the printery collection is what we used here, and we took a tip from Miranda. Thank you for the tip, Miranda, but uh, we tried her tip of embossing the paper before adhering it to um, the surface, a rounded surface like this, and it worked out great. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we did is we just took um, different sheets from the 6x6 paper pad that we had, we embossed it through our Big Shot, and then we, what did we do? We tore little strips, right? Did you have fun adhering this? How did we do that? Well, adhering it... How did we attach the paper to the clock? Do you remember? We used Mod Podge. That's right. So just little strips of Mod Podge all over the clock, inside and out. There's, you see, you can see the inside. And just all over the clock. And then, of course, there's going to be a few pieces where, you know, it was not... There wasn't any paper, so you could still see some of the metal. What did we do in those areas? Do you remember? In those areas, we used some snow text mm -hmm. and let that dry. And then we used our black soot again to make it look more gringy. Yeah, you see some of these areas here. These were all the spots where they weren't covered with paper. We added the snow text. And again, like Kayla said, our um, daddy is in construction and development. So we tried to use a lot of elements that, you know, he would probably use, you know, in his work. And the snow text reminds me of, you know, some of the stucco that they use on the walls and things like that. That's where we use some of that. I think it came out really cool. And see, this is where we inked it. And you can see the, you know, a lot of the embossing on the papers. You could see the texture from the snow text. Some of the inks that we used. It was really cool. Thanks for the tip, Miranda. It really helped to adhere the papers on here. Okay. And let's see, what else did we do? Oh, you want to start from the back? Let's start from the back. Show them what we did in the back. In the back, we use this black mesh. Mm -hmm. and, and this is actually, guys, this I got from the 99 cent store. It's from a, like, a file. Um, I'll bring it real okay. quick. Hold on. Not necessarily a folder, but it's like a holder. Let me show you really quick. Hold on. should have had it out to show you, but this is what it looks like. It's one of these things. See? It's like a little, I guess like a little holder, right? Mm -hmm. And that's where we cut it out. It was, you know, 99 cent store, and I thought it was perfect, that little um, mesh in the back. Again, it gives it, you know, like an industrial look. So that's what we did for the back, because we took out, um, after adhering all the papers on there, the back of the Tim Holtz, um, uh, clock it wasn't going to fit in so I knew I had to replace it with something else so that's what we did and then what we did after that we basically tore another piece of the printery paper you could see it back there just randomly tore it inked the edges with black foot and attached it to the little um, mesh back there and then you could see in the corner there is a little piece of uh, measuring tape, tape. Measure, measuring tape exactly because <laughs> dad uses that a lot huh yeah so we have that back there and then in the middle, we took an idea from 
Tiffany, Mama Tiffy, thank you so much. She did a beautiful altered clock where she had, you know, a picture of her kids and it was just so gorgeous to create like a little mini layout within the clock. I thought that was a great idea. So thank you so much for the inspiration, Tiffany. Um, so we decided to attach a picture of Kayla and her daddy. And this picture is just the sweetest thing. Kayla was just a few days old. And I'm telling you, her dad, her and her dad, I mean, they just built this incredible bond from day one. Uh, he saw her before I got a chance to see her when she was born. I was in so much pain and all full of drugs <laughs> that I, I could barely see straight. But, you know, he held her in her arms. They looked into each other's eyes and they just instantly fell in love with one another. And they have an incredible bond. I think she loves her daddy more than she loves me. That's not true. That's not true. You love me too. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I love you both equally. Oh, thank you. No, but they, they are, oh my gosh, they're like attached at the hip. It's so funny. <laughs> but they have a wonderful, wonderful relationship. And I thought this picture just says it all. I mean, they just the way they're looking into each other's eyes, it's just so, so precious. And that's what we titled it, True Love. Right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that perfect? You love your daddy, don't you? Very much. And I know he's going to get a kick out of his picture. I mean, Kayla's seven, and right here she's only a few days old. You can imagine <laughs> how much she's grown. And uh, so what we did, then we used one of the Prima, uh, those metal clocks, and basically to highlight the photo, the inside of it, so you can, you know, really, I guess it frames the picture. Mm-hmm. Do you like that? came out really nice, huh? And on the back of the picture, we add some cardboard to make it more stiff. Right, and to give it more dimension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you for pointing that out. I forgot about that. <laughs> and on the inside, we just have lots of goodies. Um, as you can see, the entire clock is covered with paper and stuck in the stucco, st st the uh, <laughs> snow text. And so we added some cheesecloth to the background. There are some gears where we did the same effect that we did on the card with the snow text and the paint and the ink. And then there's some flowers. We didn't want to make it too girly. But Daddy loves flowers, right? What are his favorite flowers? Orchids. Orchids and roses, right? Yeah, Daddy loves flowers. He has lots of orchids that he loves very much, and he takes really good care of them. So we thought a few flowers here and there wouldn't be too bad, right? Plus, we added a lot of guy things in there. Like, here's a little light bulb. Again, there's some more little flowers. We've got a little dove, because Daddy loves birds as well. Mm -hmm. We and have two of them. We have two birds. We do. What are their names? Well, it used to be Sergeant Pearl, but he changed <laughs> them to Lucy and Ricky. Yeah, that's <laughs> cuter, huh? Because mm -hmm. they fight all the time. Yeah. And here's like a little screw that we got from the garage, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> One of Daddy's little screws that's in there. <laughs> here's some more flowers, and these are some pretty petaloo flowers. These were from, from our last month's design team package. And over there is a little domino. Over here is like a big bolt or nut, I don't know what you would call this, but again, we got that from the garage. And you also added, like, I guess, some ink on it. Yes, I, I did. And then here's another flower <laughs> from our stash. You can see the cheesecloth back there. Back over here is one of the little metal flowers from Prima. And we took a brad, we took off the prongs, and this little brad looks like a little screw. I'm not sure if you guys could see that. But we just adhered it as a flower center. So there's just a bunch of little goodies in there. And on the outside, over here, we have a beautiful petal of flower. Again, this was from our last um, design team package. Last month. Last month, and it's beautiful, right? It worked mm -hmm. really pretty on this. We used one of our gears again, some more measuring tape. Mm -hmm. And we added another one of our metal flowers and one from her stash right here, mm -hmm. like on the card. Very cute, right? And let's see, and then the letters here up here were just basically from my stash. Some of these were Tim Holtz and some of them for spare parts, and we just spelled out true. And then over here it just says love. These are little stickers, alpha stickers from the printery collection. And then we just adhere those on there. And before I did that, we took a little piece of cardboard and um, attached it to the cloth to give it more dimension, and so they could be a little stiff. Because these are just stickers, so I had to adhere them to cardstock. So. And you also inked them. I did ink them, very good. And then up here, what do we have? We have a little number seven right here. Why did we pick that number? Because that's how old I am. Yeah, so Daddy mm -hmm. will remember how old you were when you made this for him. And we also added a blue rose and a little brownish one. And then we had, this was a metal flower, but 
we my mom had this idea. She cut it and turned it into leaves. Mm hmm Because it had like three petals and she turned them into leaves. And there's another one back there. Thank you. Yeah. Very cute. And then she added some nuts right here. Mm-hmm. Since he's in construction. I know, right? I think Daddy's gonna love this. Mm -hmm. But I think that's it, guys. I think that's our little, that's everything from our little clock. I hope you guys like it. We had so much fun making this, and yeah. I know, I know, hubby's gonna love it, right? He's mm -hmm. gonna treasure this forever because it's such a special thing for you to make for him, Kayla. And that picture is just gonna make him cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Daddy has that little soft heart. <laughs> so here's the card. Oops, upside down. <laughs> Here's the card we made again for Father's Day and our beautiful little clock. And it was so fun creating this. We had a lot of fun. We got really messy. We got really messy. That's Kayla's favorite part always. The montage, <laughs> right? And the stucco. And the, no, it's snow tech. The snow tech. I always keep calling it stucco. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's our project for this month. Um, hope you guys like it. Go check out Kathy's store for all the latest goodies. She does have some of the Tim Holtz clocks still available, so run and get them before they sell out. All the Prima goodies um, came from Kathy's store. You know, the nuts and the bolts, all the metal flowers, these beautiful Roman numerals. Um, like I said, these Petaloo flowers. Pretty much all the Prima goodies in here came from Kathy's shop, and she got, you know... Tons of stuff. Tons of stuff right now. Definitely check it out. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please let us know. We'll be, make sure to get back to you. Thank you so much. And everyone, I hope you have a wonderful day. Wonderful Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Thank you so much for all you do. And I guess that's it. You want to say bye? Bye. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>